to share a simple yet delicious breakfast you can prepare called Stuffed Pita Pocket Scramble. What I love about this breakfast is that it is easy to make, it's super quick, packed with nutrients, and it will give you the perfect amount of carbohydrates, protein, and fat that your body needs to keep it on an even keel throughout the day. So let's get right into it. All right, so now we're gonna go over all the ingredients list. We don't have too much here, but let's go over it. With grape tomatoes, we have three of them chopped in circles. Feel free to slice them from the middle if you want to or in any way that you want. I like circles because it just adds more volume. And then we have two uh, green onions chopped. We have half a cup of chopped mushrooms. I like mushrooms because they're a good source of vitamin D and that's just hard for me to get and so I like to include things. We have one eighth of an avocado or 28 grams. So if you have a scale at home, just know 28 grams will give you one eighth of an avocado. And here we have um, one whole egg and three additional egg whites, which I will whisk later on. And I like to include egg yolks because they include all the fat soluble vitamins, which include vitamin A, D, E, and K. It's also a great source of omega-3 essential fatty acids and folic acid. And lastly, at the end, we'll, we're gonna stuff it in our pita bread. Uh, it's a piece of bread, pita bread, whole grain. Um, if you don't have that at home, feel free to choose two slices of whole grain bread or, uh, or a muffin, which counts as two servings. And lastly, here, it's already filled up um, with grapeseed oil. And what I love about grapeseed oil is that it's a great cooking oil. Um, it's a great source of vitamin E and um, it's just an additional uh, healthy fat to include um, in your diet. These are the vegetables that I have chosen, but feel free to use anything you want. Um, a couple of other options that I like to include in my breakfast are bell peppers and uh, spinach. What I love about spinach is that it's packed with vitamin A, vitamin C, iron, calcium, um, and, uh, and bell peppers, it's another antioxidant. They're also called sweet peppers or calcicums, and they are a great source of vitamin C. Okay, so let's get cooking. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the heat to medium. And we're gonna start out adding the grapeseed oil. It's one teaspoon of grapeseed oil. And one other thing I want to mention about grapeseed oil is that it can withstand high temperatures. This is why I like to use this. But hey, if you don't have grapeseed oil at home, feel free to use canola oil or olive oil. Those are also two other healthy options. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding the vegetables. Give it a nice stir here. So while these are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk my eggs. I'm gonna whisk with the fork. Now, the benefit about whisking is that it accumulates air in the eggs and it just makes it fluffier when after it's cooked. You can either use a fork or a whisk. Whatever you have handy at home is fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pour the egg mixture into the veggie. Perfect.
So, and now we're going to toast the pita bread. I like to toast them because um, they're just easy and convenient, but you don't have to. You can also put it in the oven if you like that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna let it toast and let's go ahead with the avocados. For this recipe, I'm going to mash the avocado with my fork and then I'm gonna use it as a spread for the sandwich. You can also eat the avocados by itself. If that's something you like, um, I think we're good to go here. And now let's bring it all together. My pita bread is toasted already. And what I'm gonna do is with a knife, just cut out a little bit from the side. Bread, the avocado and my pita bread. The benefit of adding this avocado is that it's really going to help you stay fuller for longer because of its fat content and fiber, which is a good thing. And it's also going to help flatten your blood sugar after your meals, so it's good. All right, and now, come the eggs. Stuff it in. It might be it too much for this pita bread so you can just eat the rest by itself and um, so I'll just do that I'll put the sandwich here or pita pocket I should say and the rest of the eggs just go on the side and there we have it guys our stuffed pita pocket scramble you can add pepper um, after it's done if you want to add a little bit of flavor but with the salt, I highly recommend that you taste it first and see if everything is good because you might just be happy with how it is and you may not need that additional uh, salt. So yeah, always try your food first before you add on the salt. And here we have it. Enjoy your meal. And today I'd like to share with you my bell pepper dolma recipe. This meal is packed with vitamins B and C, fiber, protein, 